below us is the third lock of the day being removed at nearly seven o'clock almost five hours after the crew got down there today on the west side of the XL Centre and just up the road is the fourth lock of the day still sitting on <laughs> with the legal observer smashed it Hello this is Simon here for the Occupy News Network I'm at the western end of the XL Centre in East London Normally we show you footage of uh, lock-ons but the current lock-on is behind the uh, the boundary between public land and private lands, so although I can show you where it is, um, we can't take you right to the site of the lock on. They've gone behind the boundary between the public roundabout onto the private access road and have locked themselves together, blockading the road so no military equipment can get through. And that blockade at the moment is the fifth lock on we've had today. Currently at the other end of the exhibition centre, about a mile away, another crew of activists are locked on, so currently both ends are closed down. Can I ask why you've done this? I just um, kind of take the shot that we're making money out of selling weapons um, okay. and how do you weigh up your actions based on the actions of what goes on next week if they're successful? Yeah, I mean it's just, you know, it's significant compared to what's going on next week, you know, so it's well worth it. Okay, well done. Thank you so much, thank you. So we're down at the eastern end of the XL Centre, we've just walked back from the western end. At the western end there was a four person lock on. They were uh, slightly further down the road, we didn't have access to them so we couldn't show you the, uh, the actual lock on. Um, in one end or the other, and often at both ends, the XL Centre access roads have been completely blocked by protesters chaining themselves together, blocking the roads. The reason they're doing this is because they're interrupting the flow of military kit and equipment that's being delivered for the world's largest arms fair next week. And I wanted to show you some footage just to show you the kind of atmosphere that's down here. So it's cheerful, there's maybe 60, 60, 70 people here, not including our fluorescent friends in the Metropolitan Police. Um, but the two people that have chained themselves together are enabling everyone else to hold the space and stop the arms fair. They're blocking the roads and uh, out of sight, back up the roads, there'll be traffic which is being diverted. Uh, but they can't divert it to the other side because of the other lock on, on the western end. Here we have a, uh, an events truck on its way in to the XL Centre, stopped by a, a mini group of activists, there were only two or three of them that stopped it, someone has squiveled their way underneath, and currently, oh you can't wave, <laughs> currently uh, enjoying, the music. enjoying the music, yeah he's tapping his feet, he's refusing to move. So what's happening here for the first time I've seen in a long time is just mass civil disobedience, it's not serious criminality, yes we're blocking the road. Um, but the moral choices around blocking the road have been compared against the moral choices made by arms companies, our government and foreign governments in allowing arms to go around the world to be used in war crimes. Or if you want to get technical, the breach of UK export licences. So I think some of the fear around arrest is just gone. What we're seeing is uh, mass civil disobedience by the big day on Saturday. We could have a hundred arrests and a lot of people here are up for this. Today is the third day of activism. Today is the third day of a peaceful, creative, disobedient, direct action where people have come together to stop the flow of arms that can be then sold to countries that have terrible human rights records. This is all leading up to the big day of action on Saturday. And on Saturday there will be hundreds of people that come down here and say this is as far as these military trucks can come they can go no further because we have said we're going to stop the arms fair this year. So I'm Simon outside the XL Centre in East London for the Occupy News Network. Thanks.